Alert, alert, alert. This is an intruder drill. Alert, alert, alert. This is an intruder drill. Please make sure that you leave the building quietly. This is just a drill and meet at your Alice Rally Point. Please walk quietly. This is just a drill and we'll meet at the Alice Rally Point. Well, we have an emergency um, action plan, of course, that we follow from the Anchorage School District. And we also make sure that we had, we just actually finished yesterday, um, our emergency action plan training with our staff. And so we have that once every year. We also go over, as far as our Alice drills, we, in that emergency action plan training, we make sure that um, we go over all of the steps for Alice drill, make sure everybody's comfortable, because sometimes it can be something that's a little, that you know ca causes a little anxiousness and make sure all the teachers are feeling good about, the staff is feeling good about it. The whole purpose is that any of these kids, for any reason, had to leave this school, they know where to go. And so by going to their rally point here, the other rest of the school would catch up with them. Does anyone have eyes on Ms. Quinn? She's clear. So we make sure to have um, drills three times a year. Our first one is a full evacuation drill. So we make sure that we do a full evacuation and go to our rally points um, that the kids are really aware of. Um, they get very you know, used to it. It seems very normal. Um, and then we have a second drill where we actually um, do more of a in-class drill where they are barricading doors and just getting familiar with that and going through um, what they would do if there was you know, an, an um, active shooter or attacker behind or in the school building. Nobody is carrying weapons. Uh, we're not throwing anything. Uh, we're, we're not trying to trigger any kids. If you noticed, it was very, very quiet. There was an initial an announcement and then the kids just knew where to go. So we're really trying to think about the kids' mental health, mental well-being as well, not just uh, getting them out of the building. I think the biggest thing is just, my message is that, you know, every situation is kind of fluid and it, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. So we, um, it's making sure that the, the teachers feel resilient and that they feel like they can do whatever they need to make sure that their kids are safe. Um, and that, you know, each plan might look different and it may be different. It's just, it's doing what you feel is the, your gut reaction, your gut feeling in cert a certain situation. On the count of three, I'm gonna say Gurgle and you say Grizzlies, got it? All right, hold on, just one second. Grizzlies. Gurgle! One more time, louder!